Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I just got off work and I'm heading over to the girls right now. And I wanted to just do a quick like uh, mane and tail care. Um, as you guys know, Shelby, she's like a draft cross. So she has a very long mane and tail. Super random, but I wanted to take y'all along and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. got here um i'm going to grab her halter and some treats i'm gonna try to wow my hair looks so good i'm gonna try and be quick because i'm trying to make it to youth choir tonight so so when i was driving here i saw they were on the, the side um across the creek so i'm gonna have fun crossing it Last time I was here, I found like such a, I found such a like poisonous looking caliputer. The worms, oh, ow, made it. Hi, Shelby. Shelby, come on. Good girl. My Hiroshinka. Okay, I got her halter on her. I'm gonna try to jump on her and ride across because I am not getting my boots wet. So I'm gonna try that. I got on from this and we're gonna head out. She's being so good so far. Come on. Good. Oh my gosh, she's being so good. Ooh, oh my gosh. Good girl, Shelby. She like hopped that. What a good horse. Oh, look at how pretty her mane is. This dude's following us for some reason. I'm gonna get down before they start fighting. Oh. Look, she's about to kick him. So small compared to Shelby. Look at that size comparison. Look at this luscious mane. I'm gonna quickly groom her and then we'll get a little bit more detail on the mane and tail. Done grooming. Look at this luscious tail. So it actually is touching the ground now. It used to only touch the ground when it was wet, but even when it's dry now, it's to the floor. And look at this main Sheesh. Warlock is even looking super cute. Yeah, Shelby, you're so pretty. So what we technically do with the main, the best thing you can do is don't brush it at all. Oh, horsefly. Wait, Shelby. Oh, boy. Good girl. That is nasty. Like I was saying, don't brush it at all because the more you brush it, the more hair you're pulling out, especially if you're not using a detangler. And also what we do is braids for the mane and tail. Um, and don't leave it longer for a week just so it doesn't get matted. So here's our little mane and tail carrier. Pretty much everything we use for their hair. Anywho, so we use this whenever we are braiding or putting a tail bag or something on um, their hair. Uh, we have two horses, if you didn't know, Ren and Shelby. Today, just Shelby is featured. But we let her hair be out of braids for, I think, a couple days now, so it's time to put in braids again. So over here we have quite a few detanglers. So this is a homemade one. Um, it just comes out kind of like that. Yeah, it's not that gr great, but it's actually a homemade one. Ella made it. I'm not sure what the ingredients are, but honestly, I think it's one of the best detanglers. Like, I love it. I'll put the ingredients on the screen. There's that detangler. 
and then we have two cowboy magic concentrated detangler and shine this stuff is dumbly expensive but it does really work magic if you have like serious knots or mats that's gonna get it out so we use it only like emergencies but we mainly use the homemade one and this regular detangler and it works fine, but it's honestly like not the best, but it does the job that's like what I would normally use if it's not too tangled the hair, just to like save the good stuff. And then we also have this green spot remover and I just use this whenever um, maybe we're getting ready to ride or something and they have like a poop stain or something in their mane or tail because both of their hair is white. So it really shows when it's dirty. I know it's yellow, but it could be worse, trust me. But yeah, that actually like works magic. It's really nice to have on hand. And then we also have electric tape to wrap the ends of the braids because they are way much more less damaging than little elastic bands would be. So I'm gonna use this on her today. And then we just have our two brushes. Honestly, the colorful one is way better than these normal regular ones. The tail bags in here. I'm not gonna be using it today because I like to use tail bags whenever I maybe whiten the tail or mane and I want it to stay white for the next day or something, then I'll put it. But other than that, I just do braids. And then we just got scissors, obviously. Um, we use to cut the tape. And also if this grows too fast, then we need to chop it again. We cut it so that whenever the saddle pad goes on, it doesn't like irritate her or pull on her mane. That's pretty much all the products we use. I'm gonna go ahead, braid her mane and tail. You guys get to watch a time-lapse of that. Just finished braiding her mane. Shelby's literally sleeping, but as you see, I do it loose at the top as we go down tighter. And also what I've learned is don't do it all the way to the end of the braid. I've done that before and taking them out, like letting the braids go, it was so difficult because of how tiny it was. So I literally leave like a good three inches out. So yeah, time to do the tail. I'm gonna do the same thing when braiding the tail. You always want to feel for their bone, so her bone ends right, right here, and I'm going to start the braid here, and I'm going to make sure it's loose, so that when she's going to be swishing for flies or whatever, it's not going to be pulling or irritate her, because if it is going to be too tight, she's going to maybe want to rub against the fence, and it's just going to damage her tail even more. Here is the finished tail, so as you see, her bone ends right about here, right here, yeah. And it's super loose, and then it goes tighter, tighter. Bruh. Full. And that's pretty much all we do. Sometimes we put a tail bag on. Shelby, you did so good today. I'm going to take her halter off. Come on. Good girl. So chamna. Oh, nice. Bye, Thicky. That is it for this video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, our little mane and tail routine hi comment down below your mane and tail routine if y'all even have one this is what's been helping us thank you guys again for watching may god bless y'all peace out Good. See, I'm letting.
so pale, I look sick, but I'm not. <laughs>